Okay, a dielectric is inserted into an air filled parallel plate capacitor of capacitance 20 microfarad so that only half uh, of the space between the plates is filled as shown in the diagram above. Okay, if the dielectric constant is 5, okay, what is the final capacitance of the capacitor? Okay, this is quite a good question. Yeah, quite a, I mean, interesting question. Uh, but first of all, uh, this is the, uh, I want, the first thing I want you to know is uh, the dielectric constant. What is it? Uh, again, this question is, dielectric constant, is it E or is it ER? Uh, is it uh, the uh, E permittivity? Or is it ER, dielectric constant? Uh, of course, it's ER. Okay, it's not E. Uh, be careful. It is ER, uh, dielectric constant is ER. Or sometimes we call it as, uh, sometimes we put it as K. Uh, dielectric constant can put as, can be written as K or ER. Okay, uh, so that uh, that's the dielectric constant, yeah? 5 uh, is the ER, okay. Okay, so now he want to find the final capacitance. Final capacitance of capacitor. Uh, final capacitance, the capacitance value. Okay, uh, here he got a word final. That means, uh, and also here he already provide you capacitance 20 microfarad. So that means this is the initial, initial capacitance. And uh, we can put this as, maybe you can put this as C1, this one as C2, we want to find the C2, understand? Uh, C2. And then at first, it is air filled. At first, the capacitor is air filled. Uh, or we can say uh, vacuum. Or no dielectric. Uh, no dielectric. Uh, but then you uh, later you insert it dielectric, but only insert half of the space. The other half of the space still empty. Ah, okay. So since we have initial and final, we need to make two columns. Understand? Uh, always make two columns of data. So put as number one here. Number one. This one is uh, without dielectric. Without dielectric. Ah uh, yeah, this one is okay. I think I need some space. Okay, and then over here is uh with dielectric, but only half the space. But only half. <laughs> okay, so uh, don't think uh, so much first. Okay. Uh, without dielectric, maybe I can draw. I I need to draw out first, lah. It's better if I draw out the the capacitor first, so that uh better, lah. I can say it's better if I draw out first. Okay, I draw out first for better understanding. Yeah. Ah, uh, initially is without dielectric. Okay. I can say uh, this one is area. I put as area A uh, and then separation distance D. Okay. Uh, this one never change. The, the uh, area second. Um, yep. Uh, this one is um, distance D also. Yeah. But the thing is, this one got capa uh, got what? Uh, got dielectric, uh, half of it, right? Uh, got half of it dielectric. The other half no dielectric. So so how? So how? Uh, what I can say is what I can say is this uh, dielectric. Okay, uh, the first thing you should know is this dielectric. This uh, capacitor with half of the dielectric is actually the same as. Is actually uh, this is the thing you must know. Is actually the same as because you see this one got, got dielectric, this one no dielectric, isn't it? Uh, this one got dielectric, this this space got dielectric, this space no dielectric. So actually, 
is this is like side by side ah it's like side by side so it's like two capacitor with half of the area connected in parallel this one is actually equal to two capacitor uh, i think if you know this you can do the question already ah okay two dielectric connected in parallel uh, and the difference is uh, the, the this capacitor the top one has dielectric and the bottom one has no dielectric uh, it's the same <laughs> okay it's the same so uh, I can say uh, the so but the area is divided into two lah. so I can say this is uh, uh, the top one has half of the area the bottom one also half of the area uh, but the distance is still the same lah. I mean the separation between the plate is still D uh, never changes okay uh, half of the area half of the area one with dielectric one without dielectric it's the same thing so if you find the total capacitance of this uh, combination you can do the questions you just have to find the the equivalent capacitance uh, then you can uh, get the answer already understand uh, that's the then you can get the answer already uh, okay so okay let us do it yeah let, let us do it do these questions first of all let's look at the first one without dielectric uh, without dielectric i can say it is uh, this c1 capacitor c1 is actually c0 because it's without dielectric Without dielectric, so it's C naught actually. Yeah, this C one is actually C naught, and uh, equal to E naught A over D. Uh, that's the formula for uh, capacitor without dielectric. Yeah, capacitor uh, without dielectric is C naught, and then using E naught A over D. Okay, E naught A over D. So uh, that's the answer. Yeah, that's the that's the one. C not equal E not A O D and this C one yeah pack the air field air field parallel plate capacitor vacuum one is twenty microfarad uh, this one is this whole thing is equal to twenty microfarad ah so twenty microfarad so uh, we this is going to be useful later on yeah ah uh, this C not equal to twenty microfarad or C one is twenty microfarad. And then how about this one? Okay, uh, you see this one, uh, the area is, this one is using area A, uh, using area A, all the area, all the area, because all the area, uh, no dielectric, yeah? Uh, use the area and separation D. Okay, how about this one? This one, uh, you cannot do it directly. You have to do it uh, half by half. Uh, and then to find the, to find the you know the total capacitance uh, maybe i can put uh, you know alphabet i can put this as L, uh, capacitor x capacitor y understand ah uh, capacitor x capacitor y so what i have to do is uh, this is like parallel parallel capacitor uh, how how to find parallel capacitor equivalent equivalent capacitance for par uh, capacitor in parallel Ah, uh, capacitor in parallel always become bigger, isn't it? So remember, ah, uh, capacitor in parallel, capacitor in parallel, ah, uh, always become a bigger capacitor. Yeah, capacitor in parallel, capacitor connected in parallel always become a bigger capacitance. Yeah, bigger bigger capacitance. That means it is ah uh, plus plus plus. Ah, uh, it is plus plus plus. That means C one plus C two plus C three. Ah, uh, C total. Okay. Uh, capacitor in parallel always become bigger so it's always plus 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 the capacitance uh, so this one is the C equivalent is actually we can write it as uh, I, I need to use green color okay this C equivalent is actually uh, I can say it is the the C2 lah yeah C2 C2 actually is the C equivalent understand uh, this C equivalent of these two capacitor in parallel, the C equivalent is the C2 for this one. Understand? Because it's the same thing. We combine these two 
we get the this capacitance also. Uh, understand? You get back the same capacitor as this one also. Uh, because they are they are the same. They are the same, yeah? Two capacitors in parallel. Uh, two capacitors in parallel with half the area. So uh, I can say uh, this equivalent capacitance is C is a C2 for this one. So it is also equal to because these two capacitor in parallel, so is uh, capacitor in parallel is C is plus plus plus. So it's uh, Cx plus Cy. Uh, okay, Cx plus Cy. Understand? Uh, now we can do it slowly. Uh, find this. Uh, if you find you got this C equivalent, you get C2 already. Understand? So Cx. Okay, so how to, how to do? The same thing. Uh, this one is, I can say this one is like, uh, is with dielectric. Uh, this one is this the bottom one is like the is like this one without dielectric okay this one is without dielectric ah uh, okay so now do it do it yeah so cx is equal to uh this one use the formula with dielectric uh, formula with dielectric where is the formula already uh formula with dielectric okay capacitor with dielectric Okay, it's E A over D. Uh, e A over D and E is E R E naught. So we substitute E R E naught. Uh, okay. So okay. So write down E C X is uh, E A over D. E A but A is uh, not the total area, it's just half of the area. I uh, just half of the area, so you should put uh, A over two uh, A over two area over D. Uh, is CX is uh, using E, yeah, using E with dielectric using E, but the area is only half of the area of the area, so A over 2, yeah, instead of A, instead of A, it use A over 2 because half of the area only divide into 2 already, yeah. This uh, capacitor is like divide into 2 already, uh, divide into 2 already, divide into 2, so the area also divide into 2 lah, uh, area divide by into 2. Okay, the D is still the same. Uh, that's CX. How about CY? Okay, let's do the CY. CY is uh, is without dielectric. Uh, without dielectric, without dielectric is E naught. Uh, e naught A over D uh, is E naught. E naught, but the area also divide into two. Yeah, it's half of the area, half of the initial area. So it's A over. A over 2 for this one also. Uh, and then D is the same. Ah, like that. That's the C2, the equivalent capacitance. Uh, okay, it, they are actually in parallel. Uh, this, this, actually, this is the main thing lah, you should know. <laughs> the, the, the secret. Okay, so continue. Let's do it. Yeah, continue. So this one will become this, uh, you know. Uh, two uh, uh, half become you know it becomes it becomes E A over two D lah yeah because it's like it's like you multiply two uh, multiply two this one also multiply two multiply two yeah uh, so it can cancel the denominator right can cancel the denominator ah uh, okay so uh, uh, okay so continue yeah so this one plus this one is e oh, this one is e not uh, a over 2d uh, so it becomes what it becomes uh, what i can say is uh, yeah i can actually i can factor out i can factor out the a over 2d i can factor out the a over 2d isn't it because it's a common thing be common thing for both only the e and e not is different Ah, okay. That's the C two, the equivalent capacitance for these two capacitor in parallel. Okay. Now, how to continue? Uh, how to continue? Wait. Uh, I think I think I uh, don't don't do so fast first. Uh, one more thing is this E. Uh, this E is not dielectric constant. Uh, this E is not dielectric constant. This E is permittivity of dielectric material. 
Uh, this E. So what I can do is, you know, this E is E R E not. Uh, okay, remember E is E R E not E R E not. So I can substitute this E with E R E not. Uh, okay, substitute. So it is uh, E R E not A over two D. Uh, this one also uh, E not A over two D. Ah, uh, okay. So this E I substitute with uh, this already. I substitute with this E R E not. Ah, uh, okay. E is E is E R E not. Ah, uh, now I can uh, you know common thing uh, this E not A over two D E not A over two D. I can factor out. Uh, I can factor out. So I can factor out this one becomes what e not a over 2d uh, okay factor out so become e r plus 1 ah see that that's the c2 uh, that's the c2 okay factor out and become e r plus 1 okay so now uh, i already have the 20 microfarad for e not a over d Ah, uh, so I can you know I can substitute this one. I substitute this one e not a over two d a e not a over d into here e not a over d. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, oh, oh, you eh? Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm just too excited. You know this uh, this uh, uh, e not a over d is actually c not. Yeah, it's actually c not. Uh, you can actually write it as you know. Uh, e not a over d is actually c not. I uh, can you can substitute this e not a over d with c not. Uh, actually is, uh, you know is uh, um, uh, c not over two uh, e r plus one. Ah, so that's a c two. So what's the relationship between? Uh, what's the relationship between uh, this? Uh, the second capacitor with the first capacitor. Uh, the relationship is the C naught divided by 2 multiplied by the dielectric constant, dielectric constant plus 1. Uh, I got the formula already. You see that? I got the formula already. Uh, e naught A over D, just substitute this one. 20. Huh? Uh, so this E naught A over D substitute with C naught. I got this. Isn't it? Uh, now I put in the value. Yeah? I don't want to waste time anymore. So C naught is uh, 20 microfarad. Remember, I don't want to change the micro yeah, because I'm going to use it uh, the, as the unit. Okay, uh, ER is the direct constant. Direct constant just now, I got direct constant is 5. Uh, put in the 5 value, 5. Yeah, 5. So 5, uh, 5, put in the 5 here. 5 plus 1. So what is my uh, C2? Okay, multiply. Yeah? So it's 20 divided by 2. And uh, multiply by 6. Yeah? 5 plus 1 is 6. Uh, so I got 60. So C2 is 60 microfarad. Yeah, that's the C equivalent. That's the C equivalent for the two capacitor in parallel. Which is also this one. Uh, this is also sixty microfarad. For I mean the the capacitor, we only have we only have the dielectric material. Uh, okay. Uh, do you see that once you insert dielectric, even half of the dielectric, uh, even ha only half of the dielectric, you already increase the capacitor. You see that you already can increase the capacitor. Uh, yeah, the C increase. You see that. Uh, yeah, it can store more charge. Yeah, that means we uh, with the dielectric material in between, uh, even half of it, uh, you also can increase the capacitance of this capacitor or increase the ability of this capacitor to store charge. It can store more charge uh, connected to the same uh, potential difference. Okay, the C increase. Uh, 20 becomes 60. So that's the answer. Okay. That's the answer, 60 microfarad. Is that correct? Yes, that's the final capacitance of the capacitor of the capacitor with only half of the dielectric. Okay, just remember this one. 
this capacitor with only half of the dielectric is actually the same as two, two capacitor in parallel uh, but with only half of the area uh, one capacitor with dielectric one without dielectric that's all that's the trick okay and you got 60 microfarad as your final answer okay that's the answer okay uh, okay that's all for these questions i hope you understand and please like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to share to your grandchildren okay bye bye